is Miragoth, and this is the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. I'm in a competition between me and Viticus, and this is episode something. I'm not going to say where am I. This is, this is round one all over again where I started off completely lost. Oh, I know where I am. This is where I spawned. And I came back over here because I did not like the uh, situation with the, uh, what would you call it, uh, the uh, crevices, the uh, ravines. Uh, there, I had two. They were pretty cool. There were like two crossing across each other, but it was really dangerous and a great way for me to kill myself. These mountains look cool, and I think I want to settle there. I really want to set my view to far, but I need to do that, install that 64-bit whatever Java. I still gotta look up how to do that, I've just been lazy. It's got access to a desert, and ooh, there's a creeper, that's not good. And... I've got plenty of food for now, so I can have a look-see around and see what there is. I don't know if there's... what I should find is if there's an access to a cave, because that's preferable than uh, simply uh, making a strip mine, not a strip mine, but a... Uh, I forget what it's called, but you know, you mine in, in two by two columns. Boy, my head is really out of it at the moment. I started so ready to go. Uh, creepers saw me. I'm liking the uh, security of this like podium thing right there. Not like a podium, but a, like a real small Mesa. I don't have enough wood to really do anything with it, so I'm going to go over here and collect some wood so I can build a temporary house. Ideally, I would like to have like a home base away from, uh, or home base that has all my resources as close as possible so that I don't, so that I can limit the uh, distance that I travel makes things safer. And I'm not sure how much wood is going to be enough. I don't want to spend all day doing this. And I'll get some of this stuff here, this other kind of wood. I'm going to turn it all into planks so it doesn't really matter. But I think today in this episode it's going to be all about building a house, like a temporary house, some shelter, then we call my home base, and, oh, is this a cave? Oh. Yeah, I know, he's food, but, oh, this is another ravine, well, it doesn't look quite so nearly as dangerous as the other one, so I might go in there and mine that iron I saw idea is to avoid drops, but this isn't too close to where I'm making my base. Although that is... I'll kill this pig for the food. Ugh, what food? Pigs. I said it once, I'll say it again. They're unreliable. Is that enough wood? Let's get just one more tree to make sure. But, uh... Now that I think about it, that Mesa is probably a not... Probably isn't a good spot to build my base. Because I'm very... I very well may fall. I think I actually want to build my base in the desert here. Somewhere close to this uh, tree line. But not too close. Mm. Somewhere flat so that I don't like, in a panic, get tripped over like a, uh, 
a difference and uh like I could be running backwards here and being chased by a creeper and my fingers mess up and hit the wrong keys and I don't jump and I get killed. So it's a good idea to find a flat place. See, I'm strategizing now. Round one, I wasn't strategizing. Mm, there isn't. Well, this area is flat enough over here. Ideally, I would like to be closer to other stuff, but the vast emptiness of this area is to my advantage. There's no obstacles. I want to. I want to be a little bit up. I want a vantage point though, so that I can see if there's like, if I were to build a shelter here, I wouldn't be able to tell if there was like creepers and stuff over here. So this, this is going to be the spot. And I just need to turn all this into planks. Okay, I don't need that. And we won't worry about the floors for the moment. Uh, this is only temporary, so we'll make it too big. I intend to... Well, I might change my mind about this location, but for now it's good. Eat, eat, eat. Nope, I don't want to waste that. But I may decide to use this spot as my permanent base for this round. But even so, I want to make this small, because I might want to change the design, or I might not. I probably won't care too much about making something, making it look cool, because this map is not permanent. Either me or Viticus will eventually die, and that means I'll delete this world one way or the other. I don't need to build this so tall. So I don't want to get all emotionally attached to a building or a house. It's going to be all about function, purely about function. So I probably won't be using caring much about collecting wool at all. Oh, I messed up. I need to put some ah, some torches up here so nothing spawns. And hurry up and lock this place down, put some torches up, put the bed down so I can sleep. Hopefully no mobs spawned. Alright. Actually, I don't need to take... Well... Yeah, I don't need to worry about the floor, so... That'll be just fine. I do, however... Need a workbench... And a door. I'll make a pressure plate, just for convenience. On the inside, of course, I don't want it on the outside, otherwise a creeper will just let itself in. And, let's see, let's see. Why do I have wooden slabs? I must have made a mistake making a bed earlier. I do that sometimes. Well, there's temporary shelter. And... Why don't we collect these cactuses, because we can use them in defense against mobs, especially against spiders. Cactuses are great for keeping spiders out, because normally other things like fences or tall walls won't keep them out, but cactuses will. I'm not going to waste my time correcting. Oh, ow. Problem with cactuses, they're also dangerous to me, but provided I have enough food, I will be a okay. And I'll just start it off on this side and give myself. We'll leave an opening there. It's not as secure, 
as if I had just done like a one slot available, but it'll reduce the damage I do to myself. And it doesn't the security doesn't have to be perfect, and it's not gonna be perfect for a while until I grow enough. I could run out there and collect some more, but I'm not gonna do that. I think I see a swamp biome over there though. I will run by there because I might be able to get some red mushrooms and that will be like an emergency food cache if I ever have a situation similar to the previous round where I starved to death <laughs> I'll just be able to make some giant mushrooms and make some mushroom soup 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 I have difficulty saying that word sometimes whoa this is the weirdest swamp I've ever seen it's just endless lily pads. Wow, it's almost worth exploring. Wow, look at all that. Okay, it's not as far as I thought. But still, that's, that's a pretty big lily pad lake. Now I'm swimming. That's awful. <sighs> swimming, why are you so awful? weird grass. It's probably just the desert. Mm, I don't see any mushrooms at all over here. There's some cactus though. Mm, there's gotta be some over here on this other shore. This is a very weird swamp. There's hardly any land or trees. It's just the swampy water. It's more like a bog than anything. Hopefully I don't get lost. Oh, in the water. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still looking for that red mushroom. There's a chicken. I'll take the food. And who said there's no such thing as a free lunch? Come here. Come on. Come on. Wow, see? This is... An abnormal swamp. There's hardly any trees at all. It's bizarre. It's like the entire biome just was lily pads. Maybe there's a lily pad biome. It's really inconvenient for me though, because I would like some red mushrooms. Is that one I see over there? I believe it is. Of course it's there's water between me and it, but I can get around it without swimming, hopefully. Besides that little bit of swimming I just did there, but that's not what I really what I meant. All right, red mushrooms, psychedelic, and who knows? Maybe I'll find that useful. I don't plan on making cake, but. Who knows? And now we're gonna go back to my base. Spent most of this day looking for a suitable, ugh, suitable, a good spot to uh, build my. Oh, I was sprinting, wasn't I? That's such a waste of food. Hmm. You see, I don't really pay attention when I'm talking when I start sprinting. Which is not going to be, it's probably going to be my greatest uh, weakness during these contests is that when I'm trying to talk and keep these videos more interesting, I'm going to start sprinting on just by instinct. I'm o usually always sprinting when I do my BGSF videos. And let's, I guess, end this video with me adding more to my uh, cactus fence. Mm. No, put one here. And that much perimeter is sec secure. I'm having all kinds of trouble saying stuff today. Well, you know, to be honest, I'll be completely okay if it if this was the most I did on the work I did on this cactus fence. It covers most of my house. 
or most of the sides, the perimeters, which is good enough to me. I wasn't even considering using it until I noticed the cactus. Mm. Give myself a chest to put some stuff in. And my next goal will be finding a cave where I can get some resources. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have not already, why not check out Viticus's video, his uh, perception. And thank you for... Oh, oh. I want to end this the way I plan on doing it. Thank you for watching.